We begin with developing news we've been following all evening. The state's decision on its control of the Holyoke School District. Thanks for joining us on this Friday. Welcome to Western Mass News at 10. I'm Chris Pisano. The decision to release Holyoke Public Schools from their receivership has been deferred by the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, meaning it will continue under the direction of the state. Western Mass News reporter Olivia Hickey has the details. The state's already been here nine and a half years, so if there's still problems that haven't been fixed, then maybe they don't have all the answers. Vice Chair of the Holyoke School Committee, Aaron Brunel, speaking with Western Mass News Friday after alerting the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education's Commissioner, Jeffrey Riley, deferred the Holyoke School Committee's letter petitioning DESE to terminate receivership of Holyoke Public Schools. The state of Massachusetts was the first state in the, in the country to have a public education like program and to have school committees, and this just feels like it's anti-democratic. Western Mass News received a copy of the letter from DESE reading in part, in light of the progress to date, the department would like to further confer with the receiver and the school committee about how to sustain and build upon the district's progress as we make plans for returning the district to local control. To allow for those conversations to proceed at this time, I am deferring a formal determination on your petition. Brunel explains they've waited months for an answer. Just disappointment. Um, you know, we've been at this for quite a while now. We, we requested our district back in the fall um, and he told us we would have a decision by February 2nd. So we were just really anticipating today to have a decision either way. Holyoke Public Schools has been under the receivership since 2015 when the state assumed control of the district and appointed a receiver to oversee a turnaround plan. The school district's current receiver is Superintendent Anthony Soto, who has been in the role since 2021. According to Holyoke Public Schools, in September of last year, the Holyoke School Committee submitted a letter to petition the Mass Desi to release the city of Holyoke from state leadership. In December, Superintendent and Receiver Anthony Soto sent a letter to Commissioner Riley recommending the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education begin the transition to exit receivership in a carefully and highly planned manner. Commissioner Riley replied the next day saying he would respond to the city's petition on or before February 2nd. We went through all of the trainings that the MASC, the Massachusetts Association of School Committees offers within the last year to re-educate ourselves and make sure that we're involved in the process. We've continued to have our subcommittee meetings. We continue to be involved in the financial um, knowings of the district. We're there and we're involved, but we have no say. So that's where the frustration comes in. Brunel isn't the only one that feels this way. We spoke with one parent off camera Friday afternoon who thinks the power should return to Holyoke. Everything it's through the state first instead of how the people here in Holyoke um, what we need or what um, the teachers need, what the students need. The question now is what's next? Brunel says it's to be determined. They are the first district to officially petition to exit receivership, so there is a predetermined groundwork. Brunel says the school committee already planned a retreat on Sunday at Holyoke High School to strategize. The school committee meeting has also been moved up from the 19th to the 12th so they can begin to plan. Receiver and Superintendent Anthony Soto shared a statement on Desi's decision that reads in part, I am encouraged by the commissioner's commitment to continuing the conversation about a return to local control. I am committed to partnering with the Holyoke School Committee and Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to ensure every Holyoke student develops the skills and accesses the opportunities to graduate high school, prepared for life, career, and college. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Olivia Hickey.